Today we're answering your question, how contagious is it? And Michelle is on the phone with a question about a childhood illness. You may not have heard of this. And Michelle, what's your question? Hey, doctor. So I'm a mother of three girls, and my oldest is going to be starting preschool soon. I've kind of heard some other mothers mention something called this disease, but I really don't know what it is and how can I protect my children against it. So you're, it's fifth, fifth disease, disease is in, in the like number. Like the number five, yeah. fifth disease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds scary to a lot of parents. Now, there's another name for fifth disease that's even more scary, erythema infectiosum. <laughs> Ooh, you know? um, but, you know, as a pediatrician, I see this all the time, and it actually is not a big deal. It's caused by a virus called Parvo B B19. For the first few days, you catch this, and you might have just a little flu-like illness, you know, a little sore throat, runny nose, cough, no big deal. And then, a couple days later, you're going to get the rash, which starts off looking like slapped cheeks. Hmm, okay. Oh, like that. <laughs> or, you know, your child will, you, you just notice the cheeks are a little red, almost like he got wind burnt or a little sunburn, kind of like this here. And then that's when you start to clue in, ah, this is fifth disease. And then even a few days later, you're going to get a lacy rash on the arms and legs. Now, as soon as the rash starts, you're not contagious anymore. So, so it's usually not a big deal. There's nothing you really do about it. There's no treatment other than keeping them comfortable when they have the uh, initial symptoms. And, okay. um, but once you, we know that it's slapped cheek, we're like, okay, you're not contagious anymore. Go back to school. And treatment for this is similar to a lot of other viral illnesses, mm -hmm. right? Rest, rest, hydration. Keep staying comfortable. And it's the same for pregnant women, exactly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll get a panic letter from the school because <laughs> one of the school officials thinks it's a big deal for pregnant women, right. but it really isn't. Mm -mm. Very cool. Well, Michelle, great question. Best of luck keeping your kids healthy this year. All right, thanks for the information.